Hi. In this video, I will explain how to run quantum algorithms on Quantum Inspire using our software development kit, or SDK. While the web interface does not require the installation of any software, and is therefore better suited for the less experienced users, the SDK provides more powerful mechanisms to write complex quantum algorithms using Python. With the SDK, you can use your favorite quantum language, whether it is CQASM from Quantum Inspire itself, Qiskit from IBM, or Project Q from ETH Zurich. With the SDK, you have direct access to Quantum Inspire without having to convert your algorithms into another quantum language. Most of the information that I provide in this video is also summarized on our webpage. Go to our knowledge base and click on SDK. Here you find information about the authentication using your token and a link to GitHub. On our GitHub site, you'll find more detailed information about our open source development. In this demonstration, I assume that you already have a Quantum Inspire account. If you don't have an account yet, go to our webpage on www.quantuminspire.com to get your account registered. Besides your account, there are some basic actions needed. First of all, you will need a Python environment for writing your programs. Secondly, if you want to contribute to the development, we recommend that you install Git. Then I will show you how to install the SDK itself and how to use it. And finally, I will explain how to authenticate yourself using your API token. And now, let's get started. The first thing we will do is to install Python. Go to the Python webpage at python.org. The Quantum Inspire SDK is released for the 3.6 and 3.7 version of Python. The SDK comes with two backends, one for Qiskit from IBM and one for Project Q from ETH Zurich. Since Project Q has only been released for Python 3.6, we advise to use Python 3.6.8. You can go to Downloads or search for the Python version in the search box and install the version of Python that is appropriate for your operating system. Although Git is not required for running our SDK, we include this step for completeness. If you don't have Git yet, go to the Git webpage to download and install the Git version that is appropriate for your operating system. Next, we will need a Python environment. This is required to write and store your algorithms. Any IDE such as Spider, Visual Studio, Anaconda, or PyCharm will work just fine. We will use PyCharm, which is readily available for everybody and easy to understand. Download and install PyCharm from their website and start PyCharm when you are ready. Now that you have PyCharm installed, we use it to create a new virtual environment for our project. In PyCharm, we do this by selecting new project from the main menu. We will name this project Quantum Inspire. If you want to use Project Q as a backend, make sure you select Python version 3.6 as the base interpreter. In the following step, we will create a clone of Quantum Inspire in the newly created environment. When the installation has finished, open the terminal by clicking on the terminal button or clicking Alt F12. Now we create a clone of Quantum Inspire by typing in the following command. Now we will install the Quantum Inspire SDK. First, go to the Quantum Inspire directory. Then, install the SDK with both backends provided. If you are a Qiskit user, you can type pip install.qiskit to install the SDK with the Qiskit backend only. Instead, you can use pip install.projectq to install the SDK with the projectq backend only. This installation will take a few minutes. Now, 
Now that everything is installed, and before we can run the program, we store our API token locally for authentication. In this way, we never again have to worry about authentication when we run an algorithm. Authentication will be done automatically. First of all, we go to MyQI and access our account details. At the bottom, you will see your API token. Copy it to the clipboard. Now return to PyCharm and open a Python console. Type the following to import save account and use it to store your API token in the following way. This is it. Your token is now stored and you can run your algorithms using Python. The SDK comes with some predefined examples. Go to your project and open the docs folder. Click on Example Project Q Grover. Then click on Alt plus Shift plus F10 to run the program. This example will execute Grover's algorithm both on the Quantum Inspire simulator backend and on the Project Q simulator backend. In this specific example, the expected result will be 1, 0, 1. And, as you may have noticed, authentication is done automatically. You can now go ahead and try out some of the other examples included in the SDK. There are also other programs available using the Qiskit and the Project Q backend. And of course, you can program your own algorithms as well. If you would like to use Jupyter Notebooks instead, there are some other examples using Jupyter. This brings us to the end of our video about the Quantum Inspire Software Development Kit. Now you're all set. Go ahead and get inspired by Quantum.